Welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be replacing this section here. Uh, generally it goes, uh, it's part of the floor and part of the inner sill. It's all one panel but that seems to be what it's called. And uh, I've actually got the panel here. Here it is. And annoyingly it goes along the whole length. Now obviously I don't want to do the whole length because I've got a nice new panel at the front. Um, in hindsight I'd probably be better off buying the whole floor section. But I didn't really want to replace all this metal down here because it's actually quite solid. However this bit up here definitely needs sorting out and uh, the reason is because the overseal has basically destroyed this panel down here. So I need to get all of that cut out, uh, cut the new panel to size and get it um, welded in. Uh, getting this out is no problem but uh, to get this separated from the door step I'm going to need to uh, Get all these spot welds out. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Loads of spot welds. Come on, focus camera. I need to get all those spot welds out along there and hopefully that panel will then be free. I did notice uh, this end, it's not actually joined on to the heel board, so as I've repaired the heel board, I have not joined it. So I'm going to get going and I'll uh, show you the progress. Okay, I'll just uh, show you what I've done here. You can see this panel has gone down. And that is because I have drilled through spot welds all along there. And uh, I've then put that chisel in just to uh, separate the two panels. Obviously I want to try and keep this step as solid as possible because um, that's the only panel I'm really reusing. Uh, the next part is to uh, unpick spots that are down here, which is from the pannier to the side. So there are spots on the underside, so I'm going to have to go in the car and do those. Okay, so I have drilled out the spot welds, which were holding the pannier to the inner sill. There was about five or six of them. Not very easy to do, but I got them. So that has now made this entire panel loose. So all I now have to do is carry on cutting along here up to there and that whole panel of all of this section should come out. So that panel has now nicely come out um, and for the reference for anybody else who might be fortunate enough to have to do this job there are about seven spot welds on that little bit there um, and that was really awkward to get those drilled out mainly because I was working above my head on the inside of the car. Um, so the next task for me is I'm going to actually remove this strip off the old panel because the new panel doesn't come with that um, and then I'm going to weld that on. I also need to do something with the um, subframe mounts because the new panel didn't come with subframe mounts. I thought I'd ordered them but I'd uh, ordered seat belt mounts instead and the panel annoyingly comes with seat belt mounts. So I've got a pair of spare seat belt mounts and no subframe mounts. Uh, but that's my next task, remove that strip there. Okay, a lot has happened since the uh, last clip. Uh, you can see I've got the panel into place. It's not actually welded, um, but it fits very nicely. And that panel that I was removing off the old part, of the old inner sill, um, has been uh, clamped into position at this end, so I can just put a couple of tacks here and down that end. I'm then going to remove this panel again and get that welded on properly. Um, while I've got this panel out, it's worth always remembering you want to do little repairs like this so I've made up a little panel to go in there because that would be easier to do it now with this out of the way although I'll tack it in place with that there to give it uh, some strength um, you can see obviously where I've got all the dots to pull weld I've put a step on the floor going in so this should end up flush along there lots of pull welds to do along there and then welds along there and also at the back and then obviously you've got the pocket all the way along there so that's where all the welds will be and this should be very secure um, the only bit I don't have yet is the um, suffering mount I have removed it from the old one and it's not looking too bad but at the moment the threads are a bit dirty so I want to clean those up and make sure they're okay before I commit to welding that back in Okay, as you can see, I have jumped a few steps ahead. Problem is, you spend all the time grinding away and 
test fitting and grinding some more and doing another fit that when it finally fits all you actually want to do is weld it in so that's what I've done. Uh, as you can see up here I did indeed um, take that panel off and then tack it into place. There's only three tacks there. Once it was in place I then uh, took the whole panel out and that's pull welded on the other side. Uh, at this end I did end up cutting a little bit off to move that out of the way. It was a little bit cut off just to make it fit easier under there. Um, the whole panel fitted quite nicely in the end. I think you did see that in one of the initial pictures, in the initial clips. Um, and the type of welding I've done, I've done it, um, so I've pull welded, just zoom in on that, pull welded in those holes above. Is that in focus? Can't really tell. Yes, that's in focus. So I've pull welded, uh, to hold it in place, and then I've gone along to fill the step. And as you can see, that disappears quite nicely. Um, I've still got a bit more finishing up here, but the next stage for me is to get subframe mount back in. I've cleaned the holes up so the uh, bolts go in very nicely. There's then this little bracket here which I'll have to mount. Again I'll have to use the sill as reference because there's a hole in the sill. I've then got to go slightly further along and get that subframe, not subframe mount, uh, jacking point in place. That's going to need a little bit of work because it actually go back far enough. And now I've got this front mount here. So they're my next tasks for today. Okay, so I've had a good day. That's the uh, rear uh, suffering mount in and whatever that bracket is called. And then I've put the uh, jacking point on and the front bracket on there. So that's all gone really well. I've made sure all the holes line up with the holes in the outer sill. So the next stage for me is to actually weld that to the inner sill because it's still not welded where I drilled out the spot welds on the other side. So I'm going to spend a little while doing that and then hopefully by tonight I can uh, put loads of zinc spray in this area, spray the uh, sill on the underside ready to seal that area all up. I've had a really good day. So we're getting to the exciting bit. As you can see I've sprayed some uh, wax oil down there. Uh, before I sprayed that in, I put two coats of a very uh, high concentration zinc spray and then I've put the uh, wax on top of that in quite a heavy layer. And these are the chemicals I'm using. This is a built hamber um, spray. That's uh, Electrox is the very heavy zinc spray and it is exceptionally high uh, quality. And then we're using the uh, What's that? Dynax S50 spray and it uh, conveniently comes with this wand as you can see here and what I've done and uh, it's useful to do is I've put it all the way up the A post because believe it or not that A post is actually a drain which is why there's a hole in the sill so I've put that probe all the way up there and it reaches all the way to the top and then uh, I've sprayed loads of wax oil in there so I've now got to let that go off, um, mainly because it's got solvents in the wax to uh, allow it to be sprayed. Um, and I see if I close that in and then start welding, it's probably going to set fire to itself. So I'll let that go off over three hours and then uh, come back to it and get that uh, seal done. And that will be this side complete. Right, I'm happy with that. The seal is now welded into place. Uh, if I'm honest with you, the ones that go along the top, those ones there, went really, really well. The ones that are at the bottom, not as well, mainly because there was zinc spray on the underside of the sill, which caused a bit of uh, splattering of the welds. Uh, but they, they went in the end, you just have to let the uh, zinc burn off first. Around where these uh, special brackets were, they went okay. Um, and yeah, actually it's looking really good. Really happy with that. I can now clean back some of these welds and then uh, get some zinc primer on the top. And that will be this side. Done! Hooray! 